Incontinence is a topic many New Zealanders are too embarrassed to talk about. It's estimated over one million people in New Zealand suffer from some kind of incontinence problem, which is being highlighted as part of a World Continence Week. The good news is the majority of cases can be cured. Here to tell us how is physiotherapist Lisa Yates. Thanks for coming along. Thanks. Define incontinence for us. Well, there are lots of different types of incontinence, Petra, but the most common one that you hear people talk about is what's called stress incontinence. Now, that is not because the person is stressed. Uh, you could say that it's because their pelvic floor muscles are under a bit of stress. So this is the thing you hear about when people say, oh, I had a little accident when I coughed or laughed or sneezed. Um, sometimes it's when people exercise, which is one of the themes of World Continence Week. And it's basically a weakness in the muscles when there's pressure down in the abdomen and the muscles aren't able to close tightly and therefore you can leak a little bit of urine. So, so you're saying exercise is perhaps this quite cost-effective but maybe time-consuming cure. Well, how many people say, for example, are wearing things like this, which is embarrassing, it's like yeah. nappies for adults, that's the feeling. How many people are wearing these that don't need to? Yeah. Unfortunately, there are probably a lot of women, I think about 80% of women, never go and see their GP about this problem and they just put up with it. Kiwis like to think that they just get on with life and if you look at the media, you look at the advertisements that are on during the evening, they just tell people to put up with the light bladder leakage and get on with life. Now, unfortunately, that's not the case for many. Many people can be cured. Around 80% of women that have treatment, physiotherapy or incontinence-led treatment, can actually be cured with the right treatment program. So you're saying after a baby we should be able to bounce on the trampoline, no worries? Not straight away. <laughs> okay. The idea is to um, get the pelvic floor strengthened, so certainly pregnancy and childbirth are one of the biggest risk factors for incontinence, and one in three women who've had a baby will end up with some form of leakage. So I would love to talk about these exercises. Does it affect men, first of all, because I know Corinne's Yes, it does. Yeah, I it know does. there is a means... <laughs> Depends. Um, Thing. Yeah, and look, men even more so are less likely to talk about this topic. Really? Than quite, <laughs> oh, roughly, yeah. roughly um, I read a statistic that 40% of men over the age of 45 have some form of bladder problem, and that's not old men, that's often associated with so, men, men who've had treatment for prostate problems. I honestly don't think men think we've got a pelvic floor. Let's, you've got okay. your prop pelvis, show so, us So here to. is my pelvis, and a male and female pelvis is quite similar. The pelvic floor muscles sit here where my hands are. Yeah. So if I take my hands away, you can see that there's a big opening in the bottom of the pelvis. That's their main role. The muscles sit there, yeah. like my hands, and their muscle, just like muscle in your arms or legs, yeah. they sit there and they hold everything in. So yeah. if, the, if the muscles weren't there, things could start to fall out. Like your bladder and your, your tummy. Bowel, and yeah, and that, that's yep. often a, a feeling of heaviness down below, and sometimes that, that's called a prolapse. Yeah. But the, the leakage thing is when the muscles aren't strong enough to close around the openings, and yeah, it can happen to men so and women. What can we do? Okay, so pelvic floor muscle training or exercises yeah. is generally the first line. It should always be the most conservative or first line approach. Mm. It's certainly, we should, shouldn't be rushing to have surgery. That should happen if and after pelvic floor muscle training doesn't work. But we actually know that pelvic floor muscle training works in around 80% of cases. So um, what you need to do is find a continence practitioner in your area. Yeah. Um, you can contact the New Zealand Continence Association. Um, they've got an, a number 0800 650 659. Yeah. They've also got a website www.continence.org.nz and they'll have a list of all the continence providers in your region that you can then contact and get correct assessment, treatment and advice. I think it's the assessment that might put people off but thank you so much. Um, we weren't a Afraid to talk about continence yeah. on um, breakfast this morning, Lisa Yates, physiotherapist. I was a little bit afraid. A little bit afraid. You did well. You did well.